Web 2.0 represents a real change in mindset. It's about freedom, it's about collaboration, collective intelligence. It's been termed a participatory web. So it's a, it's a whole new way at looking how the web is used as a tool. Or the web used to be just kind of a reference tool, now it's seen as a way to change how we do business. One of the key differences is that users own web content. It used to be the webmaster had complete control over all the content. Now users are constantly posting new information onto a website that no one's seen, no one's qualified, no one knows about. Uh, another key aspect of this is that uh, instead of the operating system like Windows or Linux or Mac, now it's the browser and the network that have become the platform. Uh, another key aspect of this is that uh, everybody is trying to do new uh, technologies as fast and as quick as they can. Uh, and it's not the proven uh, technologies that we've used in the past. And these all changing together, are all coming together, changing the way that people are starting to socialize, to uh, keep their social groups together, and it's coming into the business world. So we need to be concerned about it in terms of uh, assessing the effect of Web 2.0 on the business environment. Since users are now creating new content, bad users can post bad content, and that's a real challenge. Uh, recent cross-site scripting and SQL injection exploits have proven without a doubt that user-posted da user data has become a popular attack vehicle. And the trend towards mashups will do nothing but uh, you know, accelerate the concept of having unqualified user data coming into your organization. The foundation of this new approach has to be an abandonment, abandonment of the traditional blacklisting security approach that has, was rushed to the market back in the 90s. Uh, Signature-based solutions like antivirus that focus on blocking the known bad are buckling just due to the sheer magnitude of all the recent uh, malware uh, explosion that's been happening. And more importantly, as hackers find economic successes by using more stealthy, uh, limited targeted uh, malware, blacklisting not only fails to protect, but it gives the users a fatally false sense of security you know, as if nothing was hitting my AV screen, so therefore I'm not being attacked. Security in a Web 2.0 world requires a focus on enabling and embracing the known good. A big part of changing the mindset of security is what Lumension Security is all about. Moving from a negative to a positive security model is what we enable our customers to do.